Moving on to Japan, where over 800 companies got to showcase their latest high-tech electronics, gadgets, and robots at an annual show in Tokyo. Let's take a look at what's turning heads. One of the most popular attractions is a robot named Murata Girl, which is capable of riding a bicycle and a unicycle. With several positioning motion and shock control centers attached to its body, the robot is capable of detecting obstacles while balancing on its own. Technology and idea-wise, it's simple, because we just had to program the robot to balance back and forth instead of sideways like we did with the bicycle riding robot. Fukunaga says his company, Murata Manufacturing, hopes to implement the robot's technology into various electronics and vehicles in the future. Nissan Motors introduced their Biomimetic Robot 23 car, which carries various obstacle detection and prevention sensors. Once it detects an obstacle, it automatically avoids it according to its speed, direction and distance, which is something we've adapted from B's behaviors. Pioneer, the manufacturer of car stereos, plasma televisions and home theater systems also received a lot of attention. Their three-dimensional display, called the 3D Floating Vision, is capable of reflecting all kinds of floating images that can be seen without using special three-dimensional eyeglasses. Using this technology, a cell phone user can now physically scoop coupons displayed on screen with their cell phone and receive information at the same time. We've placed an infrared sensor around the floating images. It detects the cell phone when it hits the image and sends out the matched information from a computer via wireless LAN. That's how you receive coupons on your cell phone. The show expects to attract more than 200,000 visitors over the next five days.